ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann, and this is our Weather Extreme video for Friday morning, the 15th of February, mid-month here, and a storm system brewing out in the western states that will impact Alabama in a big way on Sunday. Let's go to some Skycam shot this morning. Boy, that's nice. That's the uh, sunset there captured from the Coleman Skycam yesterday about uh, 530, and you can see the uh, twin steeples of the Sacred Heart Church down there off to the uh, right, uh, downtown Coleman. Really a nice scene there. And this morning, uh, we'll take a look at the Decatur Sky Cam. That's one of the big churches. I think that's First Baptist Church up there in Morgan County. Looking good. And from Tuscaloosa, we're looking down on Greensboro Avenue. Not as cold this morning. Readings are mostly in the low and mid-30s around the state. At this time yesterday, we had low and mid-20s and teens around here. Well, there's our big storm brewing in the southwest. Big old upper low that's developing just to the southwest of Phoenix and that will be coming out across the southern states, and that will hold the key to our weekend weather. And it sure looks like the uh, big rain day with that will be on Sunday. Uh, temperatures this morning, awfully cold up north. Again, looks like International Falls is sitting around uh, 25 below zero. It has been a tough winter for those folks. The leading edge of that cold air is uh, running down from near Chicago to about uh, Kansas City. Warmer air moving up through Texas. You've got 60 th 60s there, and that uh, milder air will be moving in here today. A good chance we see low 60s this afternoon. In advance of our storm in the southwest, we've got winter storm watches and warnings up through parts of the southern Rockies up into uh, western Texas and the Texas panhandle. And here's the QPF map. Now, the numbers are coming down a little bit. Uh, this is now suggesting rainfall here of three-quarters to one inch, and this would be uh, through Tuesday evening. And uh, that could be right based on the models trending farther north with the surface low and the idea of just kind of a fast-moving uh, event here during the day Sunday. Here's the convective outlooks. This is for today, a slight risk over much of uh, central Texas all the way down to the uh, Rio Grande, one of our affiliate radio stations down there in Eagle Pass. And we have mentioned the chance of severe storms for those folks. Uh, tomorrow, look at that, a moderate risk for places like Houston, and College Station, Texas. And surrounding that, a big old slight risk over uh, much of eastern and central Texas, all of Louisiana, and southwestern Mississippi. And then for Sunday, the risk, again, is for about the southern half of Alabama. That is where the instability will be maximized. Uh, southern Georgia, the eastern part of the Carolinas, north Florida. In fact, all of the Gulf Coast from uh, the New Orleans area down to Tampa Bay. And a very dynamic storm. The question will be the degree of instability involved. Uh, but there could be some very strong to severe storms on Sunday and maybe a few isolated tornadoes across Alabama, especially along and south of Interstate 20. Well, there's our uh, model output for today. This is the 06 ZGFS at noon today. Big upper level low that's kind of cut off from the westerlies down there uh, below Phoenix. And at the surface, uh, will be dry today. We'll see some high clouds streaming from that. We'll call it partly sunny. A few showers could break out over eastern Texas tomorrow. You can see why there's a moderate risk of severe weather for parts of central Texas. The big upper level low is uh, moving into west Texas, and at the surface, most all of the rain is to the east. And you note that surface high that's sitting up there near Pittsburgh. That will be circulating some uh, drier air in here. So, again, uh, it's going to be a battle of... What kind of air mass will we have on Sunday when that thing arrives? Uh, Sunday's numbers, we backed off a couple of degrees. I don't think you'll notice any real difference. We'll low 60s today, maybe upper 50s tomorrow. And Sunday, we've got phasing. And this looks a little different than previous runs. You can see that the uh, a big phase trough develops in that uh, lead shortwave that was coming out of Texas rotates way to the north, and accordingly, the surface low is also now way to the north. Quite a change here. Just a few days ago, that thing was near, what, Meridian, and now they've got the surface low near Chicago. I say they, the model. There's no they to this. This is pure model output. This would suggest a whopper of a snowstorm for Milwaukee, and this is going to be a record-breaking winter for those folks with snow. Snow down into uh, Des Moines and St. Louis and you can see a band of showers and storms blowing through here. And this is midday Sunday. The GFS is a little faster now. And uh, 
Uh, we'll see. I, I still think we'll hold the primary chance of this thing after the lunch hour afternoon on Sunday. But if this keeps up, we might have to think a little earlier in the day, perhaps. But uh, obviously, with a deal like this, uh, that would suggest more of a squall line with the greater potential coming from damaging straight line winds. But having said that, there is still a great degree of uh, a vertical shear and there could be a few rotating storms. So we will be watching the sky carefully. Sunday, Monday, the trough deepens. And you know what? That's going to deliver cold air. Here it comes. Monday's going to be a cold day. Windy and cold have a hard time getting out of the 30s. But with a surface low so far north, that would reduce the chance of uh, flurries here. And then Tuesday morning will be awfully cold as the surface high is right on top of us. And we'll start to warm up during the day Tuesday. And there's Wednesday. The return flow begins in Thursday of next week. Some rain back in here over the northern part of the state. And that kind of hangs in there on Friday as well. So it looks like the end of next week could be wet. And a quick peek out there into voodoo country. This is the 1st of March. Kind of a zonal flow across the country. And uh, that would suggest uh, uh, active weather from time to time in that. And again, there's no point in trying to peg something specific out here. We're just telling you that the pattern continues to look active for a while. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 today. And of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening or day today, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.